I'm Victoria Greg. I'm 29 years old. I have cerebral palsy. Um, uh, it is lack of oxygen um, when my mom gave birth. Um, that affected me half part of my body. When I was in my teens, um, people um, used to stare at me sometimes, but they didn't realize that I can do all the things that they do, but in a certain way. Like as um, dressing up, they used to um, have two hands so they can easily dress up themselves. But I, I use one hand easily and dress up as they, as they do. Um, also, um, when I was 18, um, I was afraid that someday I could drive as normal people, as non-disabled people. But I didn't lose faith. Um, and now, today, I can tell that I drive like everybody else, using different, using adaptations, but I can drive as non-disabled people and do all the stuff that non-disabled people um, do in their everyday life. I'm a fighter. <laughs> I'm a fighter. Um, <laughs> that's what my mom used to tell me. So, if I believe I can do something, I do all my best to achieve it. First, I started driving with an automatic car, but then I realized that I could do the indicators when I was driving through a roundabout. And then I stopped, and then, <laughs> it's a long period, took me almost three years, but as I said, so if, if you believe in something, you, you do whatever you do to achieve it. And then um, uh, the Sonia Tant Independent Living Center opened. Um, they had a car with all the adaptation needed. And I started le um, learning into driving with this car. Um, taking lessons and then when I when I had my first test um, the examiner noticed that um, shortage of area, I couldn't drive uh, in a safe way with those adaptations and then I had to again um, take some lessons, search for another adaptation that would be um, safety, safe, safer for me. I was Googling up into the, the internet and I found one with a steer, steering stick and I um, spoke with the management and I told them, look, this would be right for me. And then they, they bought this adaptation and now I could say that I have a driving lessons and I've been driving for three years. <laughs> independence, independence. Um, for example, I have a daughter, I have an eight-year-old daughter. I now, what it is, I can say I can go um, to pick her up from her gymnastics lessons. For example, I could go easily shopping now um, or go out with my friends and family easily. No? It gives you certain independence. The staring. Ah, at first, when I was younger, it bothered me a lot. But nowadays, I'm calm because I work at KMPD. Um, you, you start ignoring people and at, when I was younger, um, people maybe weren't staring at me, but at my hand, you know, at my left side, maybe they were staring at my face enough, you know, um, maybe what I wore, what I wore you know. Um, I, when, when you, I think when, when you, you are younger, 
and the, the impairment affect, affects you a lot. You think that everybody is staring at your impairment. But as you grow up, you realize certain things. And nowadays, it doesn't bother me. When I was younger, I used to dance. Um, this helped me a lot in my impairment to be more confident in life and obviously um, in everyday work. Um, yes, um, I used to dance uh, with another partner. We used to do shows together. You built certain um, experience, Anka, maybe um, Confidence, ta, confidence it is. I believe that non-disabled people are the same as disabled people. Disabled people, maybe they are different on the outside, but in the inside are the same exact person as non-disabled people. And I want, I, I believe that um, people start realizing that, for example, myself, all right, I have a physical impairment, but I can do all the things that non-disabled people do, but in a different way. So, um, does not when I want that we're, we're, we're going to achieve it someday, but um, when people f at first sight see what watch you, watch you, nowadays they, they, they would tell there's something wrong with this person. They don't think that they c you, that you can do the same things as they do, but in a different way. I want that um, people, when, when, are the, when they're watching this video, um, uh, they realize that um, I'm the same person as they are. If you want something, you have to work for it, to achieve it. If you believe in something, um, whatever you have, you can achieve it. Nowadays, there are means and ways how you can achieve something, not because you are a disabled, pe a disabled person, but there are a lot of adaptations, for example, for the driving um, uh, assessments, um, the driving license. I worked hard. Um, uh, sometimes I, lo I lost faith, but if you, if you believe in something, you can achieve it. Um, I work at CRPD for the last seven years. Uh, I am an assistant manager in the Equal Opportunities Compliance Unit. Um, we investigate cases based on discrimination on disability. Um, this, uh, my job gives me satisfaction because with a little work with, um, from my side and from my other colleagues, we, we could, um, we could, um, how do you say it, help other people and, for example, if uh, a building isn't accessible, if pe when people come to us, um, we investigate and uh, and then because we did we did all the stuff um, at the uh, the building um, would be accessible. When I was pregnant, people used to ask me certain questions like. Are you going? Are you going to cope with uh, um, with the baby, as you are a disabled person? And I used to be angry at them because, um, as I told you before, we are the same as norm 
as non-disabled people, you know. Um, we do all the things, but in a different way. Um, so, <laughs> once, <laughs> one, uh, a person told, because uh, before, uh, before, before I got pregnant, I used to tell to myself, Emma, am I going to cope with having a baby? Just certain thoughts that come into your mind. But when, when the process comes, you know, you realize that you were wrong. Um, and I, I was angry at certain people um, <laughs> that <laughs> supposed to love me <laughs> and tell me that I couldn't cope having a baby. How, how would I do her hair, how I dress up, how I will dress her up. But nowadays, I could say, I gave them a lesson. <laughs> I gave them a lesson. And I'm really happy that I'm a disabled person, that I'm not a non-disabled person. Yeah. I'm not giving the melon, making it happen, breaking limits like I'm breaking commandments. Doing it daily, maybe the beat can save me, raise me up and notch, get up and clutch safely. This crutch is enough, if not, it don't phase me. I'll clutch into another crutch up, make God take me. I'm breaking limits, you're not gonna be able to stop me. On an army in harmony, marching pace in the trot, made in his image, I'm God's breath. Believe it or not, taking a step at a time, making my way to the top.